Hi everyone, Marty here. I'm building guitars. Nice meeting everyone. Still building my Les Paul. Um, it's been sprayed with a red uh, nitrocellulose lacquer, the first layer already. Um, I'll show you how it's done uh, later on in the video. Um, so it's all started from buying a case. I got inspired by a nice a Gibson case for that Les Paul model that I'm building right now and um, I'll show you how it looks inside yeah so I got this beautiful case original Gibson Les Paul uh, case and then I thought like oh maybe I can build I'll spoil for myself. I've built a few guitars before, but um, I have always wanted to have a Les Paul model that would perfectly fit inside with a nice sound and yep, nice PEF pickups. So that's the current project. Yep, it's going to be amazing. Uh, that's what goes inside set lower pickups. Set lover was a designer for a um, early Gibson pickups I don't remember which year but anyway um, the neck and the bridge pickups PEF uh, neck will give you a great warm sound and the bridge um, striking it's a striking sound with the right balance that's what it says on the package I've actually I've seen a, a few nice reviews of these pickups and they give you a unique sound so it's not like standard Gibson uh, PEF pickups but a really unique great tone so yeah so that's the plan um, and then I got a um, mahogany body with a maple top which as you can see it's already sprayed red through the transparent red color tone nitrocellulose lacquer and that uh, yeah, like there was a, 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 a bit of work uh, filling all the holes of uh, pores of, of mahogany on the back, but um, it's all done. And I'm about to fix the bevel around and then spray it with some transparent lacquer layer. So as I'm spraying, <coughs> I'm using a just homemade self handle for the guitar so I could hold it in that position you know and um, just go around nicely with nice smooth moves to cover all the paint but that gives you a lot of flexibility you can hold it and paint the top from here then you can move it around and paint all the sides right so like I always paint my guitars this way so it's just a simple handle to uh, paint the body while being paint and like yeah it's attached similar to a regular neck using the same neck holes so that's actually not a standard um, Les Paul because of the bolted on neck not a glued one uh, by the way so why am I building guitars um, that's one of the reasons because I can do it in the way I want and I can have fun with it this one will be bolted on four bolts let me put it aside neck is just a standard very simple maple neck uh, a lot of Gibson's um, uh, mahogany is used this one is maple I'm probably going to change some of the decorations put a headstock uh, label on uh, to decorate it just to make it look nicely but um, essentially Grover tuners um, old vintage used ones and a beautiful maple neck um, ebony fretboard so the binding was just masked with a masking tape uh, to be able to spray the whole parts like the back of the body and the front with a red translucent uh, nitrocellulose lacquer so when it's cleaned up it will look uh, like that it's a white binding around 
and same as the binding on the neck let's just remove it quickly yep that's how it looks after painting it's not perfect it needs cleaning around the edge but that's how it's normally done with them even at the gibson's factory like right? this is the thing you can't avoid so how to do it um yep we just need to make a nice equal edge on both sides on the front and at the back and we're using i'm using an exacto knife uh, to scrape that off flat to the surface and very gentle moves the whole process around the guitar but um, you get the idea so that all needs to be cleaned up around the edges to make a nice real smooth edge before it could be painted with the transparent lacquer on top yeah i'll use the table to make it easier for myself um, but um requires a lot of patience and just needs to be um, done around the, the whole body um, why building a custom guitar? There's a lot of reasons. Um, you can customize it. You can potentially make a, an instrument that you uh, you wouldn't be able to afford to buy, or you can just you know um, like make it yours. You can you can have a lot of fun in the process of making it. So um, yeah, that's like if you if you have a patience, I'll show you how it's done. It's not that difficult to spray a guitar you just need to have uh, good lacquers and a taller, uh, color tone it's a good uh, choice mohawk ni nitrocellulose lacquer there's a lot of different varieties of lacquers um, and different polyurethane or urethane used on guitars these days but nitrocellulose was the choice of uh, of gibson you know, like in the early days and this is how it's done like on the all the expensive custom models they, they also use nitrocellulose so I'm using the same technique as um, in, in early days of uh, Gibson Gibson Fender um, all the nice guitar brands these days I'll just keep going and sp scraping that off that's how it looks on one side not finished yet and that's ready so you can see there's a nice straight straight edge around the binding and that's almost ready to, uh, to be painted with a transparent nitrocellulose lacquer on top over the binding front back everything together we're in the basement now and um, before we spray it there's something we still need to do and that's uh, grease remover so I'm just using cotton balls man soaked in grease remover to remove any grease from uh, from the time I might have left on the body while uh, scrapping away uh, like making the bevel straight yeah that's the step that needs to be done very uh, thoroughly not to miss any spots because um, the spray won't hold in that uh, in that spot so let's do it Let's make sure that you've removed all the grease like from all the places and there's nothing left. And now let's get a clean one and dry it out. And let's give it a few seconds to uh, dry out on its own. And by the way, I'm using um, 
glows uh, mohawk nitrocellulose lacquer um, you need to make so that's toxic you need to make sure that you were protected with a mask not to inhale any uh, fumes out of the spray uh, so let's put that out Well, that's all for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that little um, tour or um, explanation of painting a guitar body. Um, I'll include a video as well on you know how to use sandpapers and um, how to prepare the body before spraying. You know this one. Um, I've started sharing that uh, that process after I've already sprayed with the red translucent paint but um let's hope you uh stay with me and enjoy the next one thanks everyone